Okay guys, well, welcome back, and uh, I'm going to be rawhide backing my all heartwood U longbow that I'm working on. So I've got the rawhide sitting in here, just in some regular lukewarm water, or you know, room temperature water, whatever, it's not, it's not cold or anything, or it's not hot, uh, and it's basically just softening up the rawhide. I got two strips that are about three feet long or so. Uh, so hopefully I get what I need out of it. Uh, you can stretch rawhide, so that's a good thing. Um, soaking, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I've, I started making the Knox gelatin glue, which is hide glue. And I've got it boiled up over there, you know. I basically just kick the fire on, get that little fire back there cooking. Threw it on here and I threw Inside of these boxes, you'll have four bags of Knox gelatin. I threw two boxes worth into my uh, mixture in there, and uh, that's about how much I uh, that's about how much I use. And I'm just putting the, the heat back to it to get it heated up again. Um, I'm trying to get these little chunks that you can clearly see on the end of the spoon right there. I'm trying to get those to just uh, melt into the batch. Okay, so I don't really need it to cook. I just needed to warm it up a little bit, and I think I did a good enough job of that just now. So uh, go ahead and move it off of here. I just got to deal with those chunks in there, but that's all right. The rest of it's pretty good glue. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paintbrush, dip a little glue on it, and just size the back of the bow. Okay, so now I've got it uh, sized up. I did that with the glue, the paintbrush, and uh, it's looking really good. So we're just gonna let that kind of dry for a minute. I just wanna show you guys an up close look at it. You can see, <laughs> I really had trouble chasing a growth ring. You can really see it now that it's wet. The area that I thought I did good on up here, there's still lots of growth rings exposed. I mean, it's just, it's just too hard. I'm not gonna be able to do it. But, uh, so there you go, there's the sizing. And uh, hopefully I can get that rawhide to sit down real nice and smooth over these couple of wobbles and stuff. But I'm gonna put this guy back down because see how he's getting some of them drips. I don't want it to drip anywhere. Well, we've got everything over here at the table. And uh, I've got my rawhide strips here. They've been soaking for, I don't know, 20 minutes. They seem like they're nice and good and wet. Now Clay Hayes is a primitive bowyer, bow hunter, and he tells you to stretch these suckers out. Uh, and then he said you can just put them on a bow, and uh, that works really good if you stretch them out. So that's what I'm going to do. out some seriously strong rawhide so this would be a rawhide backed piece of yew wood all heartwood OT the Iceman style longbow they say when you stretch them it helps too because it it makes it not only long enough to do what you need it to do, but it curls, which means you can curl it around the bow. Now I'll pull this hide glue over here that I had heating back up. It's already been sized. So now I'm going to get it real good and wet and then just re-apply glue. Nice hot glue. I got paper on the ground, that brown paper that the bow was on before. And uh, you want to make sure you get any chunks off. You don't want any glue, you know, drying into a chunk on the back side of the bow. It's okay if it gets a little jelly like, but you don't want it to 
I have a chunk there that's like jelly. Like if you see that, get it off there. All right. Now, some people don't do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually put glue on the rawhide itself. limb down here first so let me resize it up again with some more glue again make sure that I get that real good with glue stretch it on out one last time all right all right so let's see how it fits so let me get out of the camera's way here so you guys can really see this okay Uh, you don't want any of your edges to be rolled over on itself. You want it to be heavy duty there. So get it to where you need it. Which is at least to the halfway point for me. Which I'm good. That's the halfway point right there. I'm good. And we'll put a little extra glue right there because this is kind of still hard. Uh, Ace bandage to hold that down though. This is gonna be great. All right now, got my ace bandage. And uh, I'm gonna get these scissors out if I can reach them without messing with the camera. All right. And uh, what I'm gonna do with these scissors is uh, I'm gonna cut a little bit of this rawhide off in here. Uh, and I can use this for some bindings or something later, but uh, you don't want to leave it crazy wide because what will happen is is it'll leave it at a spot and not sit down properly. Uh, it'll, it'll leave too much excess on the sides and it'll give it too much of a chance to roll up on you and stuff. So you just don't want to leave it long on the sides. Not more than like a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch or so. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on this side over here if I can. Kind of a pain in the butt. Rawhide ain't the easiest material to work with, but there you go. All right, and it, and it it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but the better you get it, the better off you'll be in the end. All right, so I'm gonna flip this piece of rawhide over now, and I'm gonna glue all on the inside of it. Get her, you know. You ain't gotta go crazy with the glue because it will get messy, but at the same time, don't be too sparing. Um, and make sure you put paper down and stuff because you will have a mess. All right, so this side has a couple holes in it, but that's gonna be in the handle area, so I don't mind that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this side down because it's the flatter end. Now, I'm gonna overlap these two pieces of rawhide just a little bit, since this piece is a little bit longer and in better shape than the other one was. There you go. And I'll show you guys that in a second. How I overlapped it, I basically just overlapped it. It's not enough, it ain't rocket science. Cut it off. Then trim it up so that it doesn't have something for the ace bandage or t-shirts or whatever you're going to use to grab and pull it up for not laying flat. That's probably good, but I'm going to go ahead and trim this side a little bit if I can. There we go. All right, so now we're ready to start sticking it down. 
Let me get a t-shirt and ace bandage and stuff ready and I'll be back. All right, so here I'm using an old t-shirt just to show you guys. An old t-shirt is really good for this. Uh, you don't have to use an ace bandage. I am going to use an ace bandage for one of the limbs. But I did want to show you guys how you can use an old t-shirt. It works just as good. You just cut a strip of it. Uh, now, the one thing is that you want to make sure the back side towards me is no big deal, but on this side, the front side that's towards the camera, when you're wrapping it, you want to make sure that you've got that folded down so that the shirt doesn't flip it up or the ace bandage or whatever. Because you want it to lay real nice and flat. Excuse me there. And, uh, you know, the cool thing about a t-shirt is, is they're pretty much free old t-shirts. Everybody's got some old t-shirts laying around. So, all right, now you can always adjust this as you go along. That's no big deal. But you definitely want to make sure you get it all wrapped real good and tight. Because, and the reason you use a shirt is so you, so you can get it breathing while it dries. You pretty much only get one shot at this. I mean, you can always fix everything, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So, and when you start running out of shirt, you can just tie it off in a little half hitch. And make sure you didn't crease anything. Stretch your rawhide back out real good. I got a weird spot here because of that big knot, and I hope that's not gonna pose a problem. But, uh, and you just cut your shirt and repeat. All right, well now I'm doing it with the uh, ace bandage. So I just wanted you guys to see this. If you even can see it, I hope you can, but basically you got your rawhide on there and then you wanna use your ace bandage and shirts to tie the rawhide down. And that's pretty much it. When you get out to the end, tie it off real tight at the end let it dry overnight, maybe two days. Thanks for watching.